What's good, guys? It's your boy, PTA Nation. And I know I've been lacking with the uploads, but, you know, I've been busy with school and other stuff, so I couldn't really post. Um, but today I got some free time, and I just wanted to talk about an interesting topic about the Raptors. You know, the Raptors, um, you know, they're fourth in the Eastern Conference as of this video, that at the time of this recording. They're fourth in the Eastern Conference, and, you know... I have, you know, the injuries were like a big part why we're fourth and we lost a couple of games because of injuries. You know, Pascal going out, Norman, Marc Gasol, Fred recently going out with a hamstring injury. You know, injuries will always be on any team, right? And we have to face with that fact. But, you know, looking at the, the young players that the Raptors have, right, um, you know, they, they've been showing some promise. But, you know, if we want to contend, we're going to need... You know, I think another all-star caliber player or just another player that can score and do other things or guard other players. And, you know, one of those person, uh, persons being Andre Drummond. I, I do believe Andre Drummond is very good. He's only 26. He's, a, he's the best rebounder, in my opinion. Best rebounder right now in the league. And... Um, he can score, right? Um, inside the paint, of course, we know we can't. He can't shoot, and that will be a problem if he does get traded to the Raptors. But you know, I've been reading a lot of stuff and reading a lot of comments and other people's videos, and you know, Instagram about Andre Drummond possibly joining us, and a lot of people are not fond of the idea. I don't know. I like it in my opinion. I do understand why people say it. he is kind of like you know, he kind of is lazy. I won't. I will get. You, I'll give you that. But he's a great rebounder, and um. You know, the Raptors kind of do need somebody like that. A guy who will go after it on the board. I know we have Rondé Hollis-Jefferson. I know Serge Ibaka is a great rebounder. But, you know, Serge, we need, like, you know, Serge is a great backup center. I think he's a great, phenomenal starting center, in my opinion, too. But, um, you know, a guy like Andre Drummond. I mean, Mark Gasol is out. And no hate against Mark. I like Mark. You know, he can shoot, right? He's a great passer, but... Let's be honest, guys. He's going to be turning 34 or 35. I'm not too sure. And I don't know. Is is he really going to, like, help us? I mean, on the court, I mean, he's been all right. But six points, I don't think it's going to cut it, man. You know, Andre Drummond will get us points. I don't know if his points might go down playing on the Raptors. But I know his rebounding will be there. And that's something the Raptors have struggled with. Also, I want to point out... Um, um, other trades, you know, like Kevin Love has been um, out there. I don't really necessarily like Kevin Love. Um, the only reason I don't like him is his contract. If his contract was a little bit, you know, n that's too much to carry on, I think, especially if we're going to go for Giannis, you know, Giannis 2021, you know. Uh, you know, I would have loved having Giannis on a Google on the Raptors, but we got to see as well. We can't get too ahead of ourselves, right? Um we don't know where he's going. That's for another video for another day. Anyways, but this video is strictly surrounded around Andre Drummond, right? That's what I'm titling it, Andre Drummond. I'll make other videos about other trades because the trade deadline hasn't been reached as yet. But this is the most inter um, excuse me, interesting one coming up. Um, because I think he's the best player that we've talked about here. Um, he fits our system not very well. I, I understand he doesn't, but you know... Sometimes we got to try stuff out because I don't believe Marcus Hall will resign with us or we're going to resign him because it doesn't make sense. We He's getting paid $25 million and it really doesn't make sense. We keep him. I mean, like, I love Mark, I you know, but I think it's time, you know, to get some value out of that. Jonas Valanciunas trade because, um, you know, Marcus Hall is getting old and he's not the same. We all know he's not the same. So if. Anyway, maybe we don't trade him for Andre Drummond, but just trade him, you know, get your value out of him because we don't know if he's going to resign. Hopefully, Serge Ibaka resigns. I'll be happy with Ibaka because he's been playing great lately. And I still think Ibaka has five to six years left in him with, like, good basketball, right? He's only 30 years of, yeah, that's he's in his prime years, right? He's 30 years old. But, you know, let me go in depth more with the Andre Drummond trade right now. So, what we would have to give up is probably. A first rounder, a 2020 first rounder. That's what I'm suggesting. Um, if they're not budging with that, you're probably going to have to throw in a second round pick. Um, Marcus Saul is going to have to be in this because of the cap, right? No no other guy besides um, Serge Ibaka and other pieces you really don't want to give up um, besides Marcus Saul have that uh, a contract to match with Andre Drummond for the trade. So we throw in Marcus Saul and maybe a young player. 
The thing is, I don't know which young player. I was thinking one cherry scenario I put up, Matt Thomas. I do like Matt Thomas a lot. I love his three-pointer. He's a great shooter. Um, the recent games he came back, he'd been phenomenal, um, shooting at a high percentage. I don't mind. Um, I actually do mind giving him up, but if it do- if it takes that to get Andre Drummond, I think it's fair because Matt Thomas is, um, I think he will have some promise and, you know, maybe the Detroit Pistons see that and they play him a lot this year and he develops into something great. But I know a lot of you guys are going to disagree with trading Matt Thomas. I know, I know. It's just a scenario. Don't get triggered or nothing. Um, because that's what, honestly, that's what Detroit, uh, Detroit's going to want. Because if other teams like Atlanta, they're going to probably be throwing in Jabari Parker, um, DeAndre Hunter. Who knows? Other guys, they're going to be throwing in with talent. We're going to have to do that. We can't just give them Marcus All in the first pick and expect them to take that. They're going to go somewhere else. Same thing with, um, similar scenario with us in Boston. You know, they're going to have to give up Gordon Haywood. Um, I mean, Gordon Haywood, I, I like Gordon Haywood. He's better than Gasol right now. But, um... You know, they're going to have to dump that contract to get Andre Drummond if they're willing to do it. And maybe a young player, not like Tatum or Jalen Brown. If they are, they're asking a little bit too much. But anyways, besides that, um, with the Raptors, I'm willing to trade probably. Besides um, Matt Thomas, they're obviously not going to want Stanley Johnson back. <laughs> um, I am willing to trade. I, I don't want to trade OG Ananobi. I love OG. No OG Ananobi. I will be trading the trade Pat McCaw. He's been playing great. It means the trade value does go up. But I think we'll be over the cap if we do trade him. Um, I would throw in Chris Boucher as well. I mean, I love Chris Boucher. He's a Canadian. He deserves to be on the Raptors. But, you know, um, he could play. He, well, for sure. He, he will be playing better on that team. They'll give him minutes for sure. Um, but Chris Boucher could be alongside with that package. Obviously not. Matt Thomas and Chris Boucher together, um, obviously separately, but um, he could be a possible player too. I was thinking Terrence Davis Jr., but after that performance, hell no, we're not giving him up, right? But Detroit's gonna ask for a young player. They're gonna want at least one young player. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to be willing to give it up. And I know a lot of you guys might be saying, "Well, you know, we should wait for." All the injuries and stuff. But there's one thing about Andre Drummond. I have to give him props for this. He is, uh, like, he does not, like, he plays every game. He doesn't really get injured that much. I mean, he plays around 70-plus games per, uh, for the seasons he was um, in the NBA for. So, I mean, w- a guy we'll be getting is a tough guy that, like, really doesn't get injured. And that's what I think the Raptors should look at, too. Um, he's young as well. He's only 26 years of age. Him and Siakam. I do think both of their numbers will probably go down because, um, I mean, Nick Nurse is probably going to tell uh, Andre Drummond, you know, you're here. You have a role. It's to be our ga- glass cleaner. Play some defense and you'll get your plays, right? So that's probably what they're going to tell him. Um, he's definitely going to have to get rid of those lazy, um, lazy uh you know, lazy habits that he has. He's, um, you know, Nick Nurse is going to give it to him. Kyle is going to give it to him. Everybody on that team is going to tell him, you know, we're not lazy here. We're we're, def- we're a defensive team. You know, when you if you come here, you got to be um on, you know, you got to be on your toes. You know, you can't be slacking out here. It's not, you know, Detroit, right? No, no offense to Detroit. You know, I love Detroit. Um, I think they have a young, um something going on there you know but i think it's time for them to rebuild so trading andre joma will kind of be smart in case he um opts out of his contract and he takes um test his free agency which he probably will i mean let's be honest if he doesn't i mean why why shouldn't he right so again i'm not really putting out this is i can only find two possible trade scenarios for us without giving up too much right so those two uh, let me know who else we, you think we should give up. Um, I mean, there's nothing really I could say. Because Andre Drummond, I feel like he is better than Marc Gasol this year. No doubt about it. Like, maybe defensively not as good as Marc Gasol. Marc Gasol is a sneaker defender. He's not, Marc Gasol is not like a get to the rim guy, right? But he's a smart defender, which makes him a good defender. Andre Drummond, obviously, he's athletic. He can get up there, block shots. I give him that, right? But he, like, you know, in terms of, you know, he's kind of lazy in some situations where you watch him. So, I mean, if we want to get uh, good, if we want to get him, we're going to have to give up Gasol. Um, 
and a young player with a draft pick. But yeah, anyways, guys, um, you know, I just think Andre Drummond will bring a, you know, a new type of uh, weapon to our team. You know, a, 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 a nice center that is, is healthy most of his career. You know, hopefully if he does come to the Raptors, he stays like that. And, um, you know, we will have something going if we get Andre Drummond, for sure. Um, he could, You could argue he's an all-star this year, 17 points and like almost, like, I think 18 rebounds or 16, I'm not too sure. But that's besides the point. Just, you know, I want to hear from you guys as well in the comments down below. What trade scenario you think... Um, the Raptors should do for Andre Drummond or if they shouldn't do it at all. Just let me know in the comments down below. And also, um, you know, let me know any other trades, right? Any other player you think we should get, right? Um, I have seen some um, Gallinari um, from the Oklahoma City Thunder. I've seen um, some people saying that, he, yeah, he would fit on our team, actually. He's a stretch forward. He's not doing bad, 18 points. And he's in his last year of his uh, contract. The only thing I'm thinking about is, again, he is an injury-prone type player. So that's another thing. We can't afford to get guys like that because of our injury history, which I think could bite us in the butt. But it's it's not besides the point, right? This is an Andre Drummond video. Any, uh, just let me know down in the comments what you guys think, what the Raptors should do, and who they should use to trade for him. But anyways, guys, it's been your boy, PTA Nation, and I'm out. Peace.